I'm Kendra Otto, and we are here at Super Zoo in Las Vegas, and I'm with Diane Badalak from Andes. How are you today? We're great. We're just great. Excellent. Now, today you're going to be showing us how to properly set clipper lines on the face, feet, and tail set, correct? Yes. All right. And we're using the new Pulse Ion Clipper. It's got a 5-in-1 adjustable blade. It is battery operated. You have two hours running time with this. Two hours run time? Wow. Run time. That's pretty long. That's very long. And it's the longest running battery operated clipper on the market at this time. Excellent. Come here, Callie. Now, what's your poodle's name? Callie. Callie. Okay. Good girl. She just had babies. So. <laughs> now, what blade length are you going to be using on her face? I'm going to start with the 10 because she's white and we don't want to take a risk of irritating the skin. All right, the blade goes from a 9 down to a 40 and a lot of times I'll start with a 10 on a white dog that I'm unfamiliar with and if it doesn't irritate it, possibly the next time the dog would come in I would maybe use a 15. Okay, well that makes sense. I know the dog's not going to get irritated. Right. Now, if you have a dog with really pink skin, would you want to leave it longer so it doesn't expose that? A 10. I, I never go any longer than a 10. Okay. Good to know. Good to know for the folks at home. All right. So the first thing you do is you want to make sure your lines are correct because that's what balances your whole top knot. So I always start by going in and cleaning out this little nodule on the ear. Make sure my battery's working. Just clean it off because that sets your lines. Then you're going to go a straight line from the top of the nodule to the outside corner of the eye. And you want to hold the skin fairly taut, but you don't want to pull it all up and stretch it out because you want a nice straight line. Right, if you stretch it too far, then you're going to be end up end up going right up into the top knot, right? Right, and what you're doing is you're setting the line so that when you go to scissor in the head, it's all in the right place. And you want a nice clean line. Now, why, why do you uh, reverse the clipper? You want to get as close and as tidy as possible. And with pools, the hair all swirls and curls in different directions. So you might have to go in a bunch of different directions. Come here, girl. You're pulling away. Seems like she wants to lay down and take a break. <laughs> so, then we're just going to clean this off. They should have a nice, clean cheek. It should be nice and flat. The next one I'm going to do is the inside corner of the eye to the end of the nose. Just cleaning off that excess hair. And like we said about all the little swirls, you might have to go in different directions. You want to make sure you clean out the stop. It's an inverted V. The top of the V is about level with the top of the eye. So you're just going to go in, scoop it out with the corner of the blade. Can you tell the folks at home the reason behind that? The reason behind it is the poodle is supposed to have a stop. They're not flat. You want to see an indent here, and that helps accentuate it. But it also comes from when these dogs are being shown and they've got all the top knot on their hair. It helps hold it all up over the eyes, and it helps give expression. So it would be all pulled up. Now you just want to shave the V and not above the eyes, correct? Right. You do not take the above the eyes. I have seen um, sporting dog people do that. They come in and they just take off this area above the eyes. You don't want to do that. <laughs> it kind of gives them that surprise look. <laughs> Poodle should be very um, mischievous looking, a little bit on the evil side. <laughs> And having the right expression just shows off how intelligent they are. What I'm doing is getting all this hair off under the eye, not taking the top off because that gets trimmed in to support this. 
So I'm just pulling this out of the way and holding it tight and just running the blade along the lower eyelid. And also by pulling the skin tight, it makes it less likely to clip or burn and catch in the clipper, right? Yes, yeah, it helps hold that skin tight so that it's, if you're not holding it tight, the skin tends to go with it, with the blade, and then it grabs. And Next line we're gonna go for is the, the neck. Now, the poodle should have a fairly long, medium width neck. And where you set this line is what shows that off. So, you want to check your dog's front. It's always best to do this while they're in the bathtub wet. So you can tell if the dog's got a long neck, short neck, fat neck, skinny neck. She's got a fairly nice neck. So we're just going to kind of look, since I didn't see her wet. Here's where her neck blends in with her forechest. There's a dip here. You don't want to go down into the dip. You want to go just before it starts to dip. That's where you come down to. You're just going to go straight up. And it doesn't matter if it's a V or a U. It's whatever you're comfortable doing. That's good to know because you, so many questions out there, V or U, which is, you know, which is better? It's a preference. What, if the dog has a really thick neck, you want to leave this narrow because that brings the eye in and makes it look less thick. If it's got a, if it doesn't really matter if the dog's got a really nice neck. And she's got a really nice neck, so we don't have to fuss over it too much. So now we're just going to do a straight line from where we took this off it down here and that gives you that nice clean crisp line and you can just hold the skin tight and clean it up you want to take all the hair off under the neck my blade changed what blade are you changing it to? I'm changing it down to a 15 because she's really thick in here and that 15 is going to go through it a little better. Now that blade goes all the way from a 40 to a 9, right? Very nice. And while I don't use the 9 in the shop a lot, I do have a couple of schnauzers that the owner likes a nine on their back and I'll, I'll use it for them. So I don't even need another clipper when I work with them. I just set their head and ears with the, the 40 and the 15 and flip it over to a nine and do their bodies. And then it comes with four little comb attachments and I put the longest one on there and take their legs down with it. Good to know. I never have to switch. And that clipper is nice and lightweight, isn't it? It's very light. It's very light. I think it's only like nine ounces. Wow. I like um, the rubber grips on there. Yeah. It's not only is it sharp, but it keeps it from sliding out of your hand. So there's her basic facial lines. We'll save the other half for later. You want to make sure you get in here. And here's where we can switch it down to the 30. You want to clean the flu out. That's that little dent that always has the discolored hair and food and debris gets caught in there. So if you just go in and clean that little look out, you're going to save those, that owner a ton in vet bills because it always gets caught up with food. It gets infected. So there's her face. Missed a hair. Now we're going to switch over and set in her tail. 